Hello, welcome. Today we will run on how to design a grill and uh, just a grill for balcony. As you can see that uh, this building has a balcony and uh, we need the uh, grills on this wall. So we are going to design uh, some grills according to the client specifications. As you can see, these are grills that I have designed and also there are some of uh, other grills that I have designed here. But uh, I want this one to be a bit different. And uh, so we design one that will cover this length. So the first thing we do is we go to plan and then we measure the distance. The balcony is here. So we need to measure the distance of uh, the length of the balcony. That is from this column to the other one. So I just go to line work and then I measure this distance. So the distance that I need to measure is this one. And I need uh, a balcony of uh, 3600. It will be enough. So that is 600 will be the length of the balcony. So using line work, I will just uh, draw a length of that 600. So 3600, enter. And then the height of the balcony, I can assume to be, because it's a 200, 300 millimeter height wall, I can just put 600 so that the overall will be 900. So this one will be 900. So I put the height to be 900, the height of the balcony it should be 900, enter, and then I draw the rectangle for the balcony. Then from here, I'll just design the balcony as my as per my as as per the current specifications, and therefore I'll just select this one and multiply. I can multiply this one. So I just multiply that they can be eight then okay the span of uh, that six so I can put a span of four four hundred four hundred enter so that is a span of the grace and then I have the hard rear on top again so I can copy this one so right click move a copy so I drag this one to 150 or 200 eh? to 200 and then I'll have the bottom one as a copy also so move a copy on this one I can put it to be 300 300 the top one is the 200 this is 300 and uh, then I design is as per the specifications of the client I need a center one so at the center I put another one so move a copy so at the center And put that one there then I can move this one to be 100 also so with this they have the center of the line you can see the arrow for the center line so it's supposed to be there so with that I can just design the grill now using the line workers again so I create this corner and I make a diamond shape for the first grid and then with this diamond shape I can just multiply so I copy and then I multiply so I can put like uh, there four there five right? so okay and then I multiply this yeah multiply that one and then is bigger so I need to cut this and move this one so with that I have already designed my grill I can extend this one because they're the one that will uh, be anchored onto the wall so I can increase the length of some barra straights They should be the same length 
so the height should be the same and then I can decide to have a hardware so I can add another one here just move a copy move drag a copy so I can move a copy a distance of 100 and uh, uh, put it at a distance of 50 the hard drive so with that I have designed my grill this is line work you cannot see it on 3d so what you do you select everything so I just select the whole thing and then I go to design and then uh, design extras truss maker then create truss and uh, I'll put the pipe inch to be 1 inch that is 25 millimeter width then the height to be 25 millimeter width and then the thickness of the metal because it's a whole section I put it as 3 millimeter thick and then I click OK so I'll save truss as truss number 9 then I just save and it will just appear at the bottom here as 3D so if I marquee this one I marquee what I've what has appeared here is now the grill and then right click show market in 3d the grills appears here and uh, you can see it now on 3d you can see now it is in 3d so this is what i just carry to my balcony you see where i've drawn the grill it's a bit far from where the balcony is the balcony is here so i need to move this grill there so i just select and then i drag the grill to the balcony uh, immediately see I'll just rotate so control E and then I rotate this grip so that I'll drag it onto the balcony so I just drag drag the grip to the balcony this is the center of the wall and then I place it there so if I show everything in, in 3D show or in 3D so automatically my building appears and uh, as you can see the grill is already here but the height is not set so what I do I select the grill so select the grill and then you click the black node and you drag upward so when the arrow boxes appears you choose drag click the drag option and then you drag it on top and then it is a bit stronger so you you click the black node also and then for this time you stretch so you stretch up to where the wall starts so you can see so this is the grid that I have designed so the grid is here I can even change the color of the grid so this color I can decide to put a different color so I select go to model and then you override the color I can put it to be blue in color paint royal blue and then it appears that way that is the grid that I have designed I can also change the color to be different I can change it to be white so I can go to model choose paint 01 or white so I can put gross white paint gross white and then okay now the grills appears to be white in color so this is just one design that i've chosen if you you can see that uh, i have another different design on the other side and uh, the same design is the one that i have at the my entrance that is my entrance porch i have a different design so meaning that uh, you can design any type of grid that you want using a uh, design tool or using the truss maker so this is the grill that i have designed and uh, i'm hoping that in my next lesson we run more on different types of design but uh, only it will depend with what you have designed on your line work so basically line work matters most and this is what will give you the design that you may need for the bar uh, for, for your grills that you place on the balcony so for instance you can decide to have a different one i can just have a line work with this one i don't i will not use any measurement 
so I can just decide to have uh, a different types of gray. So go to line work and then on line work I'll just design a different one. Let me see what I'll design. So on line work I can decide that one and then uh, I can decide to have to multiply this. I multiply this one. I can talk of 10 copies. Then OK. Then I think those copies are enough. I don't need 10. Those are enough. So I can remove this one. They are outside there. Rectangle. And then perhaps I'll just draw one line that is at 45 degrees at this end. 45 degree, sorry, just from here to this corner. So this one I multiply it to 5 and then I multiply it at this point. So you can see these are not enough. So I can decide to have this one at this point. So I click the other one. I just draw another one here on this corner. Just draw another one here. And then I draw the final one. And then I will just do the same for the other side. So I can just multiply instead of drawing one by one. Can just multiply but for this case I'll just draw so I'm drawing line work as you can see and then at the center I'll just draw a center line that will pass through the center of all these grids you can see now this is a different type of design that I've designed here so with this one I just select everything I go to design uh, design extras, trust roof maker, create trust, and then I maintain the same specs, then click OK, and then I save. So immediately I save, I can just go to my key, then my key the, the grid, and then right click, show or in my key, in th my key in 3D. So it appears here, and this is what I've designed. It's my second grid. So you can see it here. This is my second grid. And uh, it's a nice one, as you can see. So you can design any type of grid using Archicad uh, according to the specification that you have been given by the client or what the design needs. Thank you for your time. And uh, kindly subscribe to my channel.